Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will discuss array data type in JavaScript. The array object lets you store multiple values in a single variable. First, I will show you how you can create an array using the new keyword. I will declare a variable my colors. I will write the new keyword and then array. You add array elements inside these parentheses separated by a comma like this way, red, green and blue. With the help of arrays, you can store multiple values inside a single variable. Now I will access and display the array element. I will use document.write method. To access the array element, you write the array name, my colors, then brackets and inside these brackets you write the index of the array element. The array index start with 0 which means the value red is stored at index 0 and the value green is stored at index 1 and the value blue is stored at index 2. I will access the value green which is at index 1. I will go ahead and save this script. I will open the index.html file and it will display the element green, the value green, which is stored at index 1. There is an alternate way to create an array. I will declare the same variable my colors again and this time I will use brackets. You add array elements inside these brackets separated by a comma like this way, red, green and blue and now I will again access and display the array element but this time I will display the array element at index 0. I will also add a line break I'll go ahead I'll save this script I'll refresh so you can see the array element at index 0 is red. There is no such difference uh, between these two syntax. Therefore, there is no need to use the new keyword and this method will work fine. So by this way you create array in JavaScript. Now I will show you how you can modify or update the value for an array. I will use my colors array and I will update the value at index 1 from green to yellow. I will show you the updated value using the document.write method plus line break. I will save this script. I will refresh the browser so you can see the value is updated from green to yellow. If you want to display all of the elements or values of an array, you simply write the array name. Let me show you how you can do that. If you want to display all of the values of an array, you simply write the array variable name. I will also add a line break. I'll save this script. I'll refresh the page so you can see it display all of the values of an array. You can also find the length of an array using the length property. You use my colors, the name of the variable dot length. This length property will return the total uh, number of elements inside an array. I'll save the script. I'll refresh the page so you can see right now there are three elements. So the length property returns the value 3. Next you can uh, alphabetically sort this array using the sort method. I'll sort the my colors array using sort method. I 
I'll save this script. I'll refresh. So you can see it has alphabetically sort the my colors array. Next, I will use the reverse method to reverse the array. I will use my colors array dot reverse method. It will reverse the array for you. I'll save this script. I'll refresh and this will reverse the array for you. Next, if you want to add an element uh, to an array, you use the push method. I'll create some space. I'll use my colors dot push method and I will add a new element pink to the array. I'll use document.write to display all of the values inside this my colors array. I'll save this script. I'll refresh so you can see it has added a new value or new element at the end of this array. And um, if you want to remove an element from, from an array, you use the pop method. I'll use my colors array dot pop and I will remove the pink from the array. My colors plus break. I'll save this script. I'll refresh so you can see. The last element or the pink element is removed from the array using the pop method. This pop method. Next, you can uh, concatenate two arrays. I will declare a new array. Join two or more arrays. I will declare a new array list of number one. I will assign it some value like one, two and 3. I will declare one another a list of number 2. I will assign it 4, 5 and 6 value. And now I will join these two array using the concatenation method and I will assign the result of this joining to the third variable and which is all numbers. I will access list number one then I will use the concat method it will concatenate the list of number one with the list of number two array I will add the list of number two array inside this concatenation method and then I will show you the result of all numbers array I'll save this script I'll refresh so you can see the concatenate method has concatenated or joined the two arrays. So these are different methods and uh, properties related to the array. I will move forward. Next I will show you how you can use uh, the for loop to loop through the elements of for an array. I will declare an array my cars. Inside that, I will assign it some value. Now I will use the for loop. Inside the for loop, I will declare a variable k or i with value 0. And the condition should be i should be less than my cars dot length property. This will return the total number of elements inside this my, my car array. And then the iteration part inside that I will use document dot write and I will access the my cars individual element using this way I'll write I inside these brackets and a space so by this way you can loop through the elements of an array I'll save this script I'll refresh the page so you can see the for loop loops through the values or elements for an array 
you can also create an array of objects now i will show you how you can create an array of objects i will declare the same array my cars but this time i will add it some objects i will add the first object with model property and second property is the year i will add two more objects to this my car array So this is the array of objects. Now I will show you how you can loop through these object elements. I will use the for loop. Inside the for loop I will declare a variable k with value 0 and a condition should be k should be less than my cars dot length property. This will return the total number of elements inside my cars array and the iteration part. Inside this, I will declare a variable my car with some empty value. And inside this outer loop, I will declare an inner loop. For in loop, I will declare a variable cp car property in my cars. And I will add the k inside these brackets. This outer loop will be used to loop through the each elements for an array for this my cars array and this for in loop will be used to loop through the properties for an object i will concatenate and the properties values and i will add it inside the my car variable like this way my car my cars and i will add one another brackets for cp variable So by this way you can access the each property for an object. Let me explain it again. This outer for loop will loop through each element for this my cars array. Like it will loop through this object, this object and this object and this inner for in loop will loop through the each properties for an, uh, an object and it will concatenate the properties values inside this my car variable and also outside this I'll display the my car variable using the document dot write method my car plus line break I'll save this script I'll refresh the page so you can see it has looped through each object properties so by this way you can create an array of, of objects and you can loop through each property of an object. Well in this video I covered uh, about the array, how you can create array, how you can update the array and how you can use uh, different methods and properties of an array and how you can loop through the array.